Hello guys, welcome to the class for YouTube channel. Today we are discussing about the air gap in the generator on board ships and we will discuss more about why it is provided, how is the value less or more and how to measure the generator air gap. Before we proceed further, please note down each point in this video. Let us start with a brief introduction for the air gap. An air gap is a non-magnetic part of the magnetic circuit. It is usually connected magnetically in series with the rest of the circuit so that a substantial part of the magnetic flux is close to the gap. You can see on the picture on the left side, there is an air gap for the magnetic flux flowing. Also an air gap is a practically unavoidable part of the magnetic circuit in which there is a relative movement between the different parts. On the right side, you can see the rotor and the stator and the rotor is having a relative motion between the different parts. So it is an unavoidable part of the magnetic circuit. Now how much is the air gap value? Depending on the maker, the air gap is usually 1.5 to 2 to 3 mm. You can see in the picture, the air gap is usually as per the maker, normally lies between 1.5 mm to 2 or 3 mm. Why the air gap is provided and what are the consequences if air gap is too less? We have just discussed that air gap is essential and it is an unavoidable part of the machinery. If there is no air gap, then how will a rotator rotate and without any optimum clearance? And suppose if the clearance is very less, then there can be rubbing of the rotor on the stator, which can result in this kind of scratches on the rubbing action which is not very good for the alternator. Next, we will discuss how to measure the air gap. Most of us would be thinking that metallic filler gauge will be used, but it can result in the cutting of the winding or the damage. So we are not preferring the metallic filler gauge for the air gap measurement. Hence, we are left with the option of using plastic filler gauge. So before answering in the orals, we should say we have to measure the air gap with the plastic filler gauge only. Now, what are the consequences of the increased air gap or the irregular fashion of the air gap in the alternator? If there is an increase in the air gap, then it will lead to the low power factor because a large air gap will draw more magnetizing current and hence making the net current lag the voltage by a large angle. Next, if the eccentricity in the air gap then it will cause the unbalanced magnetic pull on the shaft leading to the shaft stiffness, noise and vibration. Lastly, if the air gap is more then the leakage flux will be more and hence the mutual flux will be reduced reducing the rotor EMF and thereby reducing the current and the torque. Hope this video is very much clear regarding the air gap of the alternator. <laughs> 